Welcome to LearnLogicPro.com. I'm going to show you how to convert this WAV file into a sample in the AS624 sampler. And it essentially slices this WAV and it puts those transients as MIDI notes in the arrange window. And let's have a look to see how that works. So I'm going to select on the, on the region here. And there's a couple of ways to do this, but I found that right clicking works really very well. I'm going to right click on that. I'm going to go down to where it says convert to new sample track. So we're going to select that option. Essentially, at this point, it asks you to create zones, either from the region or the transient markers, which are the hit points along the wave. I'm going to go ahead and do it by the transient markers and there's my trigger note range and you can specify the range at which you would like these notes to play out. At this point it will also name it as ESX24 sample and here you could name this a house loop. I'm going to click OK and it essentially takes that loop, it processes it, slicing up the hits and it assigns these notes to the individual slices. So if you listen to the actual loop this is what it sounds like. The ESX24 sample sounds like this. Now, if you double click the ESX24, you'll notice in here the house loop sample is already added and has become an instrument already. The benefit of being able to do this is you instantly have the gratification of the ESX24's synth engine to manipulate this part. You can also do other tricks, like quantize, making heavy swings. Also I found that a really neat trick is to gate this. I'm going to take the gate time from 100%. I'm going to change this to 25%. Let me put the swing back to zero and listen to what it sounds like now. And that's gating the notes very short. So this is how you convert an audio WAV file into an ESX24 sample having it slice and place those notes as a region in the Arrange window in Logic Pro 9 at LearnLogicPro.com.